he's saying, well, it's been 25 years since the last video. Okay, but yeah, it really has been. Um, this is a place that exists. I didn't, I just got here off screen, got a box. I'm going to deliver the box. And that will hopefully be the extent of the overworld exploration in this video, because if memory recalls, the last one was about an hour long, and it was nothing but that. So, after I deliver this and maybe get something good out of it, but probably not, I will head to the next level, which is actually really cool. Liquid Squirter. Whatever. Could be worse, I guess. So, anyway, ignoring all other hullabaloo that's going on here, um, let's head over this way. And we have the entrance to the third main level, which I've probably said the name of at some point, but if I have not, it is Banjo Land. And so we have the typical old TV show intro thing. Let's see what it's ripping off. Not that I'll be able to identify it either way. After loading screens, of course. Don't know why there has to be a terrifying Kazooie thing. If that is, in fact, what that is. Okay, so that aside, the reason why Banjo Land is the best level is because it's the one that incredibly overdosed is on nostalgia for the first two games. Basically, every single part of the level is based off of something from either Kazooie or Tooie, and there's wonderful little tourist signs that explain what everything is. And so I'll be showing off as much of it as possible after I uh, switch to a less shitty car. What do I have here again? Stoutland. Decent car, sure. This one has decent in the name, so I assume it works somewhat. God, apparently not. So yeah, that of course was Clanker. You know what, actually, since this car is an incredible piece of crap, um, let's see if I can design something slightly better. I think it's about time that I make a plane. So let's start with a plane chassis and I will build on top of it. Got the seat. Uh, it does not have wheels. Okay. Wheels would be good to have. High grip wheels. And it don't need high grip wheels. It's gonna fly. Uh, now, let's see. I don't really know where they should be placed, honestly. I assume that this is as good of a place as any. What the hell is this? Okay, that does not look like a good design right there. But it's not letting me place anything underneath the tail, so... Ugh. If it's gonna spend most of its time in the air, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... God, it's gonna suck. Oh, maybe they're supposed to go up here. That would probably make more sense. So, let me get rid of these. Okay. Um, let's see. Fuel is good. Let me actually, um, see if I can extend this back a bit. Get rid of you, and move you. Okay. And I can include more fuel, of course, so I'll get one under it, maybe. Lots of fuel is good. I eh, don't need that much, really. Engines are good. 
to weigh down the entire thing so that it will not be able to fly. It will be awesome. Ugh. See, that's the problem with this. It's going to be too big to fly. But I don't really want it on the wings because that'll look incredibly ugly. Maybe the front like this. It, it's still going to look incredibly ugly no matter what I do. Okay, whatever. We'll settle with that and put a couple of guns in the front. Wait, I think it needs a propeller. Uh, oh, I don't have any big ones? Ugh. That's something I will need to get soon. Propellers are generally a good thing to have. Because I'm guessing that an extremely tiny propeller like that will not actually fly, but we'll find out. Okay, guns. I'll just put one gun for now. It's good enough. I'll replace it later. And ammo. So that I can actually use said gun. Okay, let's test this thing out. It's so not gonna fly. Eh, it kind of does. It's actually not half bad. Can it drive on the ground at all? Probably not, but that's not really what it's meant for, so I'm okay with that. In all honesty, it probably could have worked without wheels. But that would be stupid. Okay, whatever. So, let's save it. Er, let me paint it first, actually. Just make the whole thing... silver. It doesn't really look that good, but whatever. Okay, so, that's been enough of this. I will call you... Well, I have one in my original file called Fastplin. So this will be first plin, if it will let me type. Can you, like, not do that? Okay. Uh, so, where's the apostrophe? Okay, first plin. It works. So now we can explore the level slightly better. I'd like to show as many of the, like, tourist signs as possible, but there's a lot of them, but I don't really know where most of them are. Here is one. If you feel like reading that, feel free to pause. And yes, the music is a medley of various banjo songs. Here's a cheese wedge from Cloud Cuckoo Land. Do you have a sign? It really should have one somewhere. Whatever. I kind of want to just do, like, a trip around the level without bothering with jiggy missions and stuff, just to show all the stuff off. And, yeah, and there's lots of paintings also, just for stuff that didn't get included otherwise. Oh, come on, those are enemies from this game. What are they doing in here? Go so, away. Uh... Yeah, why are those there? That's really stupid. How dare it have new things. Oh, I like this. This garbage can. Um, which, I th yeah, it's it's one giant object, which you can tip over if you do it right. I'll just throw it onto this pile of random Banjo-Tooie crap. Okay, not all Banjo-Tooie crap, because there's the pumpkin also, but... Let's see if I can just get on top. Physics abuse! Oh, come on. Point is, there's a whole bunch of Grab by the Ghoulies games in there. Which I would like to get out. Because, why not? But, eh, it's not gonna let me, so whatever. Where's my plane? Seriously, where is it? Right here. Hiding behind the guff beans. Oh, there's a thing. 
No. Can we fix it? Game. Can I please? Okay. Now can I read what it says? Why is it transparent? Yeah, it was filled with a mini game that was exactly the same as every other mini game in that game. And here is the level from The Hobbit in miniature format. Over here we have Mayahem Temple. I think that's what this is supposed to be. Target Zen is not even in this camera angle. It's over there. No, that's the Golden Goliath. Uh, okay, no, this is the, uh... What the hell is it called? The Stonehenge thing from, uh, Lumbo's Mountain. And there are very strange things in the audience. I like how I hit that. And I like how I just now discovered that there is a rear view mirror option. Yeah, I don't know what these things are. But they are funky, and they have Cartman hats, so all is good. Here are some notes, so grab these. Notes are always good, because eventually Wumba will get some good parts that I can buy. What do you do? I honestly don't know. It's for one of the Jiggy missions, but it doesn't do anything if you op like, operate it outside of the mission, so... Not really too much of a purpose. Okay, there's a mission here, I'll get back to that eventually, but I want to keep going around. Like, here is the, uh, Cactus of Strength. Uh, that is exactly what I meant to do. I like flying straight up. I don't know if I accomplished anything by doing that, honestly. Is there a first person button in this game? Because there really should be if there's not. Yeah, I'm thinking there isn't. Yeah, as this not so subtly indicates, there is an achievement that you get by breaking the bell. Basically, what you want to do is just build a really heavy plane and fly straight into it, and that should do it. And here is a whale. This whale will be my friend throughout the level. Are we really going to do this again? Oh, it's a wooden effigy. Uh, here, of course, is uh, the melted tidal wave remains of the Frieza Z Peak snowman. I don't really get what happened. I guess it melted and then started forming a tidal wave, and then they somehow froze it in place. And over there... Wait, where was it? It's, yeah, right up there. Uh, stop and swap egg, and... Some kind of a CD. Let me see what that is. And there's very thin penguins here for some reason. Can I see what it is? Oh, it's just a disc that's a stop and swap. Because you can't have enough references to that in this game. And no, I'm not actually complaining about that, it's just kind of way too many of them. This is the UFO. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Here's Boggy Ziggler, which you can, in fact, destroy, which I will do. Not a good idea, because now all the notes are going to be lost. Oh boy.
Okay. If I had known there were notes in there, I probably would not have done that. Nah, who am I kidding? I still would have. Oh, lord. So who here remembers the episode of Magic School Bus where they had to heat up the bus by building an igloo and then doing, like, calisthenics inside it? The answer is zero of you. No, I don't know. I'm sure some people do. Okay, I'm going to assume that was the last note. If it wasn't, then oh well, I can always get them later on. And there should be something underwater in this area, if my memory is correct, so let me see. Yeah, good job. That That's what I wanted you to do. Yeah, there's a big old hole here. Which I never would have found, because I kind of hate exploring the levels in this game, because nothing ever leads to anything. But luckily there was a guide for note locations that I used, and I'm like, oh, there they are, okay. So I'm guessing this is like Blubber's treasure. I can't really see what else it would be. It's the treasure from the, like, giant treasure chest that you go inside in Donkey Kong 64, with the giant terrifying clams with weird, like, graphical issues with the pearls. If I ever LP that game, I'll have to point that out, but... If you've played DK64, you probably know what I'm talking about. Hey, look, it's fish that get out of the way when you swim near the... Except they don't. Never mind. Sorry, just making fun of the Xbox One. Okay, let's just get out of here. I hope I got all the notes down there. If I didn't... Uh, yes, I wanted to summon the plane down here. Thank you. There's Rusty Bucket. Hey, look, little squares. Just what I always wanted to carry around with me. No. I don't care what anyone says. Rusty Bucket Bay was a good level. It was hard as shit, but that's why it was good. Kind of wish there was slightly more of an indication that you could break open some of those windows, though. Like, you pretty much just have to notice that some of them are part of the wall texture and some aren't. And that requires you noticing things that most casual gamers wouldn't. Indeed. But you know what is too challenging for today's soft gamers? The stupid Saucer of Peril minigame in this level. Not this level, but this game. Seriously, screw that game. We will, we will get to see that eventually, and I'm fully expecting to not be able to beat it. Okay, let's try this again. That was stylish right there. Don't know what that was. One of Terry's eggs, I guess. Random Jinjos with flames. Let's go this pyramid. Do we have notes scattered across the entire scarf? Yes, we do. Let me actually get a car. Let me just get... Where'd the music go? They didn't put them on only the yellow ones. This is incorrect. Oh, I actually... No, these are all the same color. I was going to say, if they put the gold ones on the yellow ones and red on the other, then that would make sense, but they did not. Must kill all penguins. What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's Mildred Ice Cube. Alright, fine, I'll do something. What do you want me to do? Wait. Oh, I skipped the text. Never. I forgot that it like doesn't load all at once. 
So what am I doing? Okay, so does it give me the vehicle then? I'm hoping it does. Okay, it does, cool. Don't start me at the bottom where he is, that would make too much sense. Oh, the scarf isn't nearly as long as I thought it was. Okay, now spend five minutes trying to line up properly. Actually, that went smoother than I thought it would. Yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen. I'll nudge you back. Not sure if I will be getting the trophy for this one. I'm thinking probably not, but you never know. Ah, no, no. Come on. I probably could have made it if I hadn't done that. Ah, fuck it, whatever. Eh, should I try it again or not? It was a short enough one to do it again. If it's something really, really awful or long, I won't do it on screen. But this one really didn't take that long, so... New strategy. Do this. And... Probably take longer doing this than just going down the road the normal way. And, yeah, when that happens, then... Okay. Let us try this again. I like how the character, this thing looks absolutely nothing like the original character model. Come on. Little steps. Don't go sliding too far away. I like how he has a health bar, which he will almost certainly not deplete. Okay, that wasn't so bad. He goes sliding off the other side, but I don't care, so... It... Random achievement! Spot on, Banjo! Achievement unlocked! Hilly rewarded for getting to... What is the point of this slowly rotating thing? This leads to click clock. Did you have fun? Okay, I've been over here before anyway. Uh, let me get my plan back. There's Mumbo, let me see what that is. Wait, distractions. Oh, I found a Jinjo. There's something I can do. Okay, what do you do? Uh, one of these. The vast majority of these are just so useless. Uh, what was the... This one works, I guess. Eventually, I will just have to design a vehicle specifically for these challenges. I've just been too lazy to do that. Alright, there we go. Wait, did I win or no? I guess I did. It was not very clear if I did or not. It, why is there a crashed plane? What the hell is this from? 
Because I don't remember a plane from either of the other games. I would like a trivia sign for this. No, no trivia sign? Okay. I guess that one was self-explanatory. Everyone remembers that crashed plane. I don't know. There's Cloud Cuckoo Land. That was a cloud. Wait, there's George. How did he get up here now? I don't know. This game doesn't make much sense. Another stop and two stop and swap eggs. Last time I checked, Cloud Cuckoo Land didn't have any. And why did it turn green? What? Well, I guess that's most of the level. I feel like there's a section I haven't explored yet. I mean, there's obviously a lot of parts I haven't explored yet, but... Let's see what's over here. Oh yeah, this is an extremely terrible recreation of Lago. Because last time I checked, Lago wasn't 15,000 feet tall. But anyway... Hey, what's all this crap? Is this used for anything whatsoever? Well, there's some notes. Instead of just putting them on all of these, let's just, like, and have you, like, maybe slide down them all and get them. Just put them all on the top one. That's good enough. I really don't understand this game. Mumbo, do you have anything? You've got the paint can from Conker's Bad Fur Day, except not really. And... Anything else? Not really. Oh, this is the entrance, okay. There's more of Clanker, I guess. Which I didn't realize moved. Where's Mad Monster Mansion? I know that's somewhere in this level. Maybe that's near Gobi's Valley. I haven't been there either. And hit the pole. Um, am I just missing something obvious? Wow. That Okay, if I don't find it in this, like, go around, then whatever. Yeah, because there's the Gobi's Valley section, which is pretty much just the pyramid. Where is Mad Monster Mansion? I know it's in here somewhere. I say as the music for it plays. Eh, whatever, it'll turn up eventually. It's not that interesting anyway, it's mostly unbuilt. I think this might be it, be it over here. Here's Cheeto. It's kind of weird to call them cheat codes. I mean, this is something I've probably discussed before during either the 2ELP or the Kazooie livestream. Just the fact that, like, the codes... Well, in 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 2 they honestly... Like, some of them are pretty cheap. But um, in Kazooie, they're pretty much just, like, double your inventory. They're not really cheats. They're just unlockables, I guess. I don't know. But you can't call the character unlockable, though, so... But 
Okay. Don't know why I got out to look at that. So yeah, this is Mad Monster Mansion in all of its unfinished glory. They like were starting to build it and then I guess just got bored. I don't know. So let me just go do some more missions and stop dicking around. This is the best level to dick around in though. What? What was that? Oh, me running out of gas. Can we make it up here? Or I guess my fuel could randomly refill. Still don't understand the point of those exploding red stop and swap eggs. And here's some more notes. Which I will fail to get. So yeah, this thing has like giant chunks of ice that fall in from an unexplained source and then they're ground up to make the snow. Which is kind of cool. I like how they explain that, but I don't know. Actually, I don't really have anything negative to say about that, surprisingly, since I bitch about everything else in this game. Wait, there's a gold one. Gotta get it. The thing I'm, like, most scared about in this playthrough is me just... I don't know what I just did there. Why is this a normally walkable surface? Anyway, yeah, I'm just, I'm worried that, like, I'm going to miss a single note in a group somewhere, and then I'll never be able to find it again. But, anyways... Let's go do some more Jiggy missions.